is Harry Cox. Green, of course, making his first appearance tonight as the new European welterweight champion, having taken that title from Henry Riney of Great Britain in January at the Albert Hall in five rounds. Facing tonight the man in the white shorts, Lawrence Hafey, one of the two fighting brothers from Nova Scotia, the other Art Hafey, better known than this one, now retired. This is Lawrence Hafey, 30 years old from Nova Scotia, a veteran of the uh, Canadian ring, who in fact started his professional fighting career more than 12 years ago when Dave Green was just 13 years old. Two fair-haired figures, the Canadian in the white shorts. Familiar squat figure, fierce and uh, tough-looking figure of Dave Boy Green from Chatteris in Cambridgeshire. 25 years old, five years younger than Hayden. Green's second tenure as a European champion. He uh, used to hold the European Light Welterweight Championship until he moved up into the welters. Just a little right hand into the ribs of Green. just under three minutes evidence it looks as though Green is going to have uh, his hands full for a bit with Pafey he's uh, used to fighting in good class made one unsuccessful bid for the Commonwealth title Green was made to work very hard in that first round by Hafey and uh, he must know that this is going to be no pushover. They probably need a good workout anyway. Keep him busy until such time as he gets a chance to fight for that uh, WBC title that Benitez of Puerto Rico holds. Second round, round two. Just to point out the difference uh, in experience, Green has had 30 professional fights. Hafe has had more than twice as many as that. He's had 67. Been beaten 16 times. You keep those gloves up, Green, because uh, you can get caught very easily. Two good left hooks from Green. Hayfey from Nova Scotia, 30 years old, former Canadian middleweight champion, and uh, now fighting, of course, down at welterweight. Started out round three. dramatic there to cause him to go down. Tense concentration, absolutely engrossed on his job. Really is a very vigorous workout for him, this one.
Green is looking better and better these days. His work is compact. Uh, he does try to graft a bit of boxing onto his natural aggression these days. And uh, he enjoys his work, you can tell that. And he doesn't waste too many punches. And he's beginning to look like a good world-class fighter. Second out, round four. Avery comes out to the fourth. A bit white-faced, very gaunt-looking. And uh, like Green, finding this quite a tough fight. But Green seems to me to be weathering it far better. Green's blocking a lot of those punches. Strong as a bull, Green. Getting a real working over now. Not much missing. And his game. Trying to fight on the retreat. But Green has got him going. End of the fourth. Makes you wonder how much of this Hafey will be able to stand up to. Tremendous round that. And I think uh, Hope has got the start of uh, some trouble on the right eye. Second out, round five. And Green comes marching on relentlessly, a little fighting machine. Caught him off balance. <laughs> Must be terrible. You duck and you dive on the retreat, and every time you peep in between your gloves, there's Green right in front of you throwing leather. He's got him going. Round five. Hafey bleeding from the nose. And he's really getting a quite severe beating. Very, very durable fighter. A little bit too durable for my money. Not sure how far Mike Jacobs can let this go, really, because it's very one-sided now. And he's desperately tired, Hafey. The arm's beginning to drop. Can't get out of the way. Keeps dropping the arms. There's still about 40 seconds of this fifth round remaining. Hafey leaning. Anything to get a respite. And there isn't one. Game Canadian. But it's so one-sided, it could really be stopped. And I think that will be it. And just a few seconds, about six, six seconds before the end of the fifth round, Lawrence Hafey has pulled out of that fight, rightly enough. And that's a tremendous win by Dave Boy Green because...